Millions are under lockdown or tightening restrictions. Mass testing is rolling out and travel restrictions taking effect. That's in parts of China, where the country is battling its worst known COVID-19 outbreak in two years. An all too familiar clampdown already experienced around the world is now making its return to Shanghai, where schools were closed Monday. Some long distance travel suspended across the financial hub as new COVID cases climb. This woman says people are not panicking, but some are stocking up on food just in case tougher rules are announced. Mainland China reporting more than 1,300 new cases Monday. According to Reuters tally, that brings total infections this year to more than 9,000, compared with 8,378 in 2021. While that's low compared to tallies out of other countries, it marks China's biggest outbreak since the start of the pandemic. And it's challenging Beijing's zero-COVID strategy. A significant surge is coming out of a northeastern Chinese province, where the Omicron BA2 subvariant is believed to be driving the spike. More than 24 million people live here, and now they're being barred from traveling out of the province or even across different areas within the province. Anyone who has to leave, they need to get police permission. And according to state media, some 7,000 military reservists have been called in. In part, they'll be taking care of aerial spraying, some disinfection with drones. Melissa Duggan, City News.